Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today I'm going to be showing off uh, something that I actually kind of went, went into and was thinking about after I got a comment of someone asking how to, if you can automate uh, Obsidian using the Industrial Revolution mod. And while I couldn't find a way to do that, I did find a way to automate Lava. So... This is going to be like kind of like the typical, like the way you're going to start off with this is going to be like the typical, you know, normal way of just, uh, that, that was added so that you could automate, uh, lava and have, you know, infinite lava where you just use drips, this pointed dripstone, have it underneath a, a, a block and have a source block of lava on top of it. And then obviously you can expand it out and you can add more lava and more pointed dripstone and stuff like that to, uh, to increase the, uh, the speed at which, uh, lava is produced. And this method works extremely well. It is very slow. Um, so, I mean, there is always the way if you want, if you want to go to the nether, you could alternatively um, grab yourself a pump and uh, you just need like a power source. And then you could put like a tank down. Now, for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to be using a quantum tank unit, uh, just because. Um, and then we're going to put that there. So now the pump will go down. It's receiving energy. So yeah, I am using a bit of tech reborn, like I said, just for the purpose of today's video. Um, but you could use if you didn't if you didn't have the quantum tank unit, you could instead use the tank from Industrial Revolution. If you didn't want to use the quantum, if you don't have tech reborn, the solar panel, you could use uh, like a solar generator instead, um, and use that. It does take a little bit longer, but it will uh, produce energy. Uh, I believe you may need a way of extracting the energy. Yeah. So you still, you do still need a way of extracting the energy from a solar generator. Uh, so let's see if I can figure out a way to do that. Um, because I don't believe industrial revolution. Oh, there we go. Okay. There it is. So yeah, you just need something like that connected up and then it should fill up with power. Am I doing something wrong? I probably am. Um. Hmm. Is there... There's got to be, like, a certain side that... Oh, wait. there It was working fine right there. Okay. Okay, there we go. I was wondering, like, why is this not working? But, there we go. Okay. So yeah, like I said, so then you, you know, you'd fill this up with, you know, you'd have like in, in the nether, there'd be lava everywhere. And as you can see here, it's like, even if the lava is just like flowing, so even if it's just like, even, even if it's like flowing lava, so let's say there's lava all the way over here, it will still uh, collect it. Okay, what am I doing? It'll still collect it. I do believe if there's even lava, like, up above. Here, let me check just to be sure. I believe even if there's, like, lava up above, I believe it still can collect it. Let me just check to make sure. Okay, so this... Yeah, the, only, the main problem with the tanks from Industrial Revolution is that they don't have a lot of storage. You can add on to it. Um... But I have found that it might look a little wonky. Yeah, it does look a little wonky because it like f it still considers considers it to be its own separate um its own separate block. So you know, in that sense, it is a little weird. Um, it does look like it has to be. 
I mean, if you had, let's say, like, multiple, um, yeah, let's just do this real quick. Just so I can, like, do a little bit of testing, just to, just to fully make sure that this works. So if we have, like, lava here, right? Like, let's put lava there, let's put lava there, uh, put lava there, and there, and there. And then if we put this pump here, and we put, like, a solar generator... Um, solar generator there have the cable connected I believe it'll go down each each uh, each level at a time so it should yeah so I believe it so it collects from the it'll collect from the top layer and then it'll move on to the bottom layer which is one of the main reasons that it becomes very useful for, you know, if you're in the in the nether or something like that. It's going to be very helpful um, for collecting lava because it's very efficient, very easy to set up, something like that. You know, all, and like I said, alternatively, you could have something like this. It's very slow, but it does, it does work. Um, with enough time, it will work. Now, the only problem... Like, I would say the biggest problem with this is that, you know, these lava source blocks are too far away. So you would have to go, you know, like, in the middle of, uh... Or is it? Is it even collecting lava? But at this point, I'm not too sure. I think it might have used up all the lava below. Yeah, okay. So, it, so yeah, it, those uh, source blocks were too far away for the lava from them to flow. Uh, so then it was unable to collect from them because they were too high up. So that is one issue with using, doing with this method, but it does work if you want a bit of a faster, a quicker way. Now you could, like I said, you could go with this method. It is a lot slower, but it's very easy to make a lot bigger. Uh, obviously you just need more cauldrons. You just need, uh, more of this pointed dripstone. And all you have to do is, like, set up some fluid pipes. You set up, uh, you know, like a tank. For if you're just going strictly, you know, for uh, Industrial Revolution, then this is going to work perfectly fine. You really, honestly, you don't, you don't even need the fluid pipe Mark IVs. You really only need, with the speed at which this goes, you just need the fluid pipe Mark, uh, Mark I. Now, if you get to a point where... It's like you're producing bucket after bucket after bucket. Uh, it can only extract one bucket per second. So if you're, if this, if you have such a big um, thing here, uh, such a big system here where you're producing more than one bucket of lava per second, then you may need to up this to like a, uh, you know, ink, up it to like fluid pipe mark two. So it's just kind of like, it depends on the size of the system for like a very basic and small system like this. You're not going to need anything more than just the fluid pipe mark ones. But as you get bigger, then you're going to need uh, more advanced pipes. Now, if we get to like a bigger system like this, this isn't, you know, huge, but uh, it is something if you increase the, uh, the tick rate, um, which are the tick speed, then it does become quite, uh, quite fast. So if we do, um, game rule random tick speed, and we set it to like 10,000, then obviously things are going to go a lot faster. You know, you're going to see, you might even have a bit of lag like I'm having right now. Um, but you know, you're going to get, okay, hold on. I need to change some, turn off V-Sync. There we go. Now, now my FPS is but my FPS still drops down from, like, 700 down to, like, 600. Okay. But, yeah, so, so as you can see, when you have, like, a very quick tick rate, then, obviously, you're going to have a lot more lava. But with the normal tick rate of just three, then, you know, things slow down quite a bit, and, you know, you're going to have to make this system a lot larger in a normal world unless you want to have an insanely high tick rate. So, like I said, there's two methods. There's this one over here. There's this one. 
Um, and then obviously if you expand out, if you go for this method and you expand it out, then you get something that looks more like this. That's going to have, you know, you're going to need a bigger tank system. So that's why I would recommend using like something like Tech Reborn or, or a different mod. Um, that adds like some sort of tanks or something something just something that would store liquid because the tanks from industrial revolution only hold like i think like eight buckets of lava here let me see so there's one in there so two okay okay well this is not working um here, let, let, I have an idea. Okay, so there's one in there, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should slowly pull, maybe, eventually, any day now, whenever you feel like it. Whenever you feel like it. Take your time. Don't, no rush. Okay, now I need to rush you a little bit. Uh, speed. I'm going to I'm going to rush you a little bit. Are you just deciding not to work properly? I don't understand. Uh, I think there's something the solar generator is a little bit funky to use sometimes. So we'll just we'll just go with biomass instead. Biomass is a little bit better to use. Produces more energy. Um why is this not working? I don't understand. Am I doing something wrong? I gotta be doing... Something is not... Something is not working properly. I don't know if the... I don't know if I'm... I'm probably doing something wrong. I gotta be doing something wrong. So, it, like, it hits the lava, right? And it should start pumping the lava. There we go. So, I put down eight buckets in total. And, yeah... So it looks like anything more than eight buckets would indeed, yeah. So each uh, each of these tanks can only hold up to eight buckets of lava. So if you don't have, if all you're using are these tanks, then I mean they're not too difficult to make as long as you have a pretty uh, steady source of steel. Um, then it's not super hard to make, but. It can be a little obnoxious just because of how many machines and stuff that you need. So, it's something to keep in mind. If you want to, you know, if you want to go the route of this, then you obviously can. Otherwise, there are other mods that you can add and make make things a little bit easier and a little bit simpler. Um, but that's up to you guys. You guys are more than welcome to use this design, this design. And then if you're going for something bigger, then you might need more tanks. Uh, like you can, like I said, you can just, you can have this go sky high and just have this be one huge thing. Um, you could have, you know, obviously multiple next to each other. Um, and then just have it, you know, going over to that one and then do it like that. But. It's up to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, then please leave a like on it and consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribing. There we go. If I can talk properly. Subscribing to the channel. I mean, the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, um, let me know in the comments if there's any other questions that you guys have. Um, I will do my best to try to figure out ways of solving certain issues but this is the when it comes to automating obsidian this is about the best way i could figure out uh because you could uh i'm actually gonna try something real quick just right before i end the video because i'm curious how this thing works so if we take a quantum tank i'm not i'm honestly not too sure how the drain works. Uh, there's nothing that I could actually find that talks about it. Oh, uh, that's that'll have to be another video at some point where I kind of look into what the drain does, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, and yeah, so like you could just you know if you wanted to automate obsidian, that's all you really. Why are the thing is not stacking? That is weird. But yeah, if you want to automate obsidian, this is about the closest way that I could come up with where you have to you know you'd have to manually tank uh take out the lava 
uh, after it's been collected and then you can place it down and just you know have water next to it and it'll turn into obsidian but then you obviously you still have to manually place the uh, you have to manually break the obsidian so then it does become a bit of a tedious task and at that point you might just want to go for like a wither uh, obsidian farm or something like that but it's completely up to you guys if you're someone like me that would rather stay in the overworld and just do everything from there even though it's a bit more of a challenge it still is something to keep in mind if you don't want to have to go to different dimensions and if you just feel safer being in the overworld then you could have something like this if you don't really care then you could go to the end and just make a you know a wither obsidian farm something like that but yep yeah, um my name's sam i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh hope to see you guys in the next one take care